is a bit long, but I remember by the end of uh, July, when we are approaching the start of August, it's when I sensed something that was not going well in my constituency, and I had to raise this issue on the floor of parliament, where I requested parliament to, to order or to direct the Minister of Health and the Minister of Energy to go and assess the situation in my constituency. Because in one month, we had buried over 25 people, over 25 residents in two sub-counties of, uh, of Chiruma and Madudu. And to my surprise, when the ministry received the information that an outbreak of Ebola had happened in, uh, in Mubende, the very sub-counties that I quoted, they had the one, one of the two, Madudu, it's where the first case was discovered, and it was a 23-year, uh, 24-year uh, male who succumbed to Ebola, the first case. But even before that, in that very week, before uh, the, the, the outbreak was declared, we had buried seven people with similar symptoms and signs like those the deceased had. So I'm worried that even the other people who died before could have succumbed to Ebola. But we are not aware because we are not medics until uh, health, uh, health, uh, health ministry people or, and officials came in, they discovered that something really was going not well. So uh, from there, we had to start community meetings to sensitize people going on radios and where, but uh, I can count almost 10 to 13 people from my constituents who have died of Ebola. Yeah.